Now, our next speaker is going to continue on the fashion twist. Uh, his, his merchandise collects biosignals, and he's actually from Montreal, so I'm sure he'll be greeting you in French. Please welcome out Ohm Signal CEO Stéphane Marceau. Merci, Brady. Uh, bonjour à tous. Uh, I have a uh, little bit of a riddle for you this afternoon. It's become uh, widely accepted that uh, wearable is going to permeate all aspects of our lives, that uh, wearable is uh, starting to uh, emerge as uh, the next mobile. So my question to you is the following. Which uh, wearable medium have you been wearing your entire life since the day you were born? Any guesses? Is it a bracelet? Is it a bracelet? Is it a necklace? Is it a watch? Is it a patch on your skin? Um, is it glasses? Not really. The wearable you have been wearing all your life, and you're wearing it now, is clothing. And that's what Home Signal is about. Um, we turn clothing into uh, connected devices which help you live a fitter, healthier, happier life. And I'm talking here about uh, uh, shirt, bras, underwear, socks, pants, etc. Let's have a look at uh, what happens when your shirt or your bra uh, becomes uh, intelligent. Can we please roll the video, please? What if life became a little smarter simply by putting on a shirt? What if being connected meant really being in touch? What if what we wore helped us get through life a bit more smoothly? Or be healthier, fitter? Imagine if our clothes helped us take better care of our loved ones. Or on demand provided that crucial medical information. moments we simply could not have before. Well, OM Signal is making it possible. So uh, let me try and make this uh, concrete here, and uh, I must apologize for the next, the next uh, segment of this demo required that I partially undress. Um, what you uh, are looking at here is an OM Signal shirt. I, uh, I own many of them. I wear them uh, at the office, at the gym, at my son's hockey games. It's a lifestyle shirt. And there's no patch or glued electrodes. The shirt itself is uh, the uh, sensor. We're actually uh, working with um, a few talented fashion designers to prepare our first uh, uh, wearable clothing collection. And, and make no mistake about it, wearable is partly about fashion. Because if the wearable uh, onto itself does not make you feel good when you wear it, before the electronics, before the technology, before the insights, you just won't wear it. Um, so this uh, uh, shirt is uh, connected to my iPhone continually. And from there, the data read from my body goes into the cloud. So let's have a look at uh, what's on my iPhone right now. If we could uh, please uh, show my iPhone. OK, it's already there, which perfect. It shows that uh, my heart rate is uh, racing uh, for obvious reasons, because I'm presenting in front of a, a public audience. Um, and every pop of the circle is a heartbeat, actually. And there's also, for every biometric variable, a subconscious color scheme. Uh, in other words, whenever the background color is towards the green, it means the biometric is good, healthy. When it's towards the red, it means I should be a little worried about this. So it's obviously a little high now. Um, this is my step count for the day. Uh, I set the bar at 15,000, so I'm uh, over halfway there, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to walk back to the hotel. 
Uh, this is uh, my uh, calorie burn uh, for, the, uh, for the day as well. Um, and I haven't been all that active, but there's a fair amount of stress involved with a presentation like that. So it increases the calorie burn because we take calories directly from the heart. So it's kind of more accurate and takes account for various uh, uh, you know, biological factors. This is what we call the Zen index, which um, refers to your emotive state. Um, are you tense or are you relaxed? Again, I'm a little on the tense side uh, right now, as you can see. One of the things we um, uh, found out at Home Signal is that the, uh, your, the whole of your physiological signal is very telling about your emotive predisposition of a given moment. It's telling about your behavior. It's even telling to some degree about your temperament. We see different physiological traces seem to correspond to different types of personalities in, uh, in our team. Um, the, we also capture a breathing rate here. Uh, various breathing patterns, breathing balance, etc. So look closely in the middle of the circle as I breathe. So all of this is live, and we think that uh, breathing is, uh, is very important. It, um, it's it's, it's a, a massively important signal in, uh, in many respects, in that uh, it's, to own your breath is arguably one of the greatest sources of self-mastery and of control over your existence, uh, interestingly enough. Um, actually, just for fun, um, Please breathe now slowly and deeply. Just don't be shy. Just do it. Breathe slowly and deeply. Breathing is, is uh, try it, try it. Breathing is unique in that it happens automatically, but you can override it like you just did now and slow down your breathing and uh, go into yourself and impact your autonomic system. Your autonomic system regulates many aspects of your health uh, and wellness. Very powerful uh, signal. The other thing that happened as you slow down your breathing right now is it changed the way your heart beats. It really changed the way the heart beats. And uh, I don't know if we have time here. Uh, if the Twitter alert goes away, I'll do the next piece of the demo. <laughs> I actually would ask you not to tweet for a moment. <laughs> it's it's uh, not, not, well, you know what? Uh, I'll tell you, we have um, uh, ECG live. Uh, so my ECG taken from my heart live on my uh, iPhone. So for those who are interested uh, uh, to see it, I'll show it later. So as you can uh, appreciate, um, there's a lot of biometric variables that we capture, and there's more. Um, and we have an unfair advantage in that we work with clothing. Clothing offers uh, body real estate the ability to access various biological function wherever they happen. So we get signal at the source, and clothing is a flexible material. Um, and then clothing, as I mentioned earlier, is, is, is a slide-in behavior. It's the universal medium. Everybody here, as far as I could tell, is wearing clothing. Um, you might be asking yourself, can I share all this uh, data with uh, my friends, uh, with my spouse, with my fitness trainer, or with my doctor? And the answer is yes, if you choose to. This is our um, uh, team uh, dashboard, or part of it anyway. So at any point in time, we can go online and see the live biometrics of uh, our team, uh, whether they are in Montreal, where we're based, in California, or uh, right here in France. It's live in the cloud. So the point here is that what we have is, is a platform. And and uh, ultimately, we're hoping to contribute to the crowdsourcing of health and wellness. Uh, there will come a time, as uh, this type of textile technology becomes more mainstream, where you will go buy a uh, shirt or a bra at uh, Galerie Lafayette or at Macy's, and you won't even ask. You will expect for the garment to be a connected device. That's like uh, when you go buy a, a car, you don't ask your dealer, can you please add a gas gauge and a speedometer? It's kind of baseline expectation. And, and when this happens, and this day is not that far away, um, it will enable a ubiquitous biological signal at scale in the cloud. Just imagine millions of people bio-streaming their physiological data into the cloud as they go about their everyday lives, just by virtue of wearing clothing. Uh, this pool of information never existed in the history of mankind, and that's just a fact. Uh, and we think that the ability to uh, extract uh, from this data, extract meaning from this dynamic pool of data, will take wearable to a very interesting place. 
Today, most of wearable is about understanding what happened, like how, how many steps did you do, how does that compare to your friends, etc. cetera. Um, but with this biological signal in the cloud, we'll be able to get uh, to predict uh, events. So for example, telling you that uh, you should go to sleep early tonight or you will uh, develop uh, the flu or a cold. Or you should stop right now, you're at risk of having a heart failure. Um, and oh, by the way, we call 911 just in case. Or to the contrary, you should push hard at the gym because your vitals are strong and, uh, and balanced. Now, um, the uh, connected clothing will have uh, impacts in several industries, in particular in obviously the fashion apparel industry, in digital platform industry, and in the consumer electronics industry. Uh, for example, just a few weeks ago, we saw Under Armour, a big kind of shirt company, buy Map My Fitness for a cool $150 million, buying a digital platform. Uh, we've seen a few months ago Lululemon, not known to be an electronics company, launch a rudimentary heart monitor bra. Uh, on the digital platform side, I mean, this is part of the, uh, many of the, the talks here today, we've seen Google swim upstream and launch a, a physical device, the, the funky looking glasses. And on the consumer electronics side, recently it's been noted that Apple hired two very, very senior executives from the fashion industry, president of Yves Saint Laurent, president of Burberry. So what we're starting to see here is the beginning of the blurring of the lines between, at the edges of these industries. That, that's what's starting to happen. It's the beginning of a beginning. And, and that will be interesting, arguably for uh, everybody in this room, uh, part of the tech and media ecosystem, as these players adjust their value propositions to keep their leadership in, in this, uh, this, this, this blurring environment. Um, so if you are um, interested in trying connected clothing, uh, please do check us out at ohmsignal.com. Um, you know, we're going to be in market soon, and we're going to privilege those who uh, requested their shirts uh, in advance uh, when we launch. So thank you very much for your kind attention. Merci à tous pour votre généreuse écoute.